Hi guys, welcome to Homes and Cooking. So I'm doing this without it being dark because I had eye surgery, not cosmetic, real eye surgery, it's fine. Um, and I don't have a lot of makeup on, so don't be scared, but I wanted to get an October video out and the happiest Halloween to you. So I'm gonna just show you the ingredients that goes into this because it is a really, really good bolognese sauce and it's super easy. So I'll put it on, well, the person that inputs on my website will put this recipe in and it is, it's super easy. So you take one small onion, 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 onion. You chop it up fine. Then you take three garlic cloves and you mince them. And then you take, if I use two carrots, the long skinny organishy, and you chop them up really, really fine. So you're gonna be cooking a turkey bolognese sauce. Super easy, really good. So you take the onions, the carrots, and the garlic and about three tablespoons of olive oil. This is gonna chop off my head. This is Felipe's orange, orange. Felipe's olive oil, but any good quality of olive oil, extra virgin will do. Three tablespoons of olive oil. You put them in a pan and you saute the vegetables until they stop, 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 start to soften. I swear the, the eye surgeries like dimmed my brain. So when these are softened, and I mean softened, then you can add the pound of low fat turkey. Um, I use the 93%, um, any more than that, it tastes like sawdust. Any drier than that, it tastes like sawdust. So you put that, saute it up with the vegetables, and then when it all comes together, and the vegetables that have been softened are blended well into the turkey, you add one cup of red wine. You know what I use when I go to the grocery store? I get these little tiny bottles. They come in a six pack. I'm sure they think I'm out in the car drinking them, but I'm not. And you can really cook with these and they don't go bad. You just don't open them until you use them. I get white and I get red and I get Chardonnay, and I get Merlot, whatever they have. Doesn't matter, it's going in the food. So you put the cup of red wine, one of these is a cup, and then you put a can of crushed tomatoes. So put the wine, stir, stir, stir. Put in the tomatoes, stir, stir, stir. And then you're going to put like two shakes of red pepper flakes, to taste, cook to taste. And then um, I put in like three shakes of Italian herbs. A lot of people don't like to use it, dried herbs, but they work fine for me. So like two shakes, taste, taste, taste. And then I put in two tablespoons of um, tomato paste. Stir, 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 and taste, taste. If you want this to be a little bit stronger, put in more tomato paste. Then when you've stirred everything up, I wanna make sure I give you the right amount, then it calls for a half a cup of whole milk. I cook with half and half, and I swear, I just use half and half instead of milk because you don't use that much, and it just makes the sauce a lot richer. So half a cup of um, half and half, I get the 365 at Whole Foods. If you get 365, they have some really good prices. So you put that in, the meat's already in, the vegetables are softened and already in. This is the only thing you need. If you want to put three shakes of salt, that will help. And then I put in like a sprinkle, I'll put all this in the recipe, a sprinkle of pepper because when they call for like a half a teaspoon of pepper, don't do that. Go by sprinkles when you cook and you'll get the flavor that works just right for you. So this is absolutely fabulous bolognese. Make, you can make it really simple in a, in a 
restaurant, the bolognese is like $30 because it has like turkey and it doesn't have turkey. It has beef and pork and veal, which is all great. But this is a simple, easy, and much more cost efficient um, bolognese. So I swear you'll enjoy it. So thanks for watching Homes and Cooking and bearing with me with my no makeup. Um, uh, it, I had like cataract surgery. It was super easy. But anyway, you still can't wear makeup. And have a wonderful Halloween. I should be wearing like my costume. Look, my rabbit ears. <laughs> um, and we'll talk to you next month. Okay? I'm going to sneak over. Thank you so much.